differential aeration corrosion this type of corrosion occurs when a single metal is exposed to different oxygen concentration let us consider few examples the first picture shows an water drop or dust or sand or any impurity settle on the base metal like iron the area which is below the dust particle having less oxygen concentration acts as anode whereas the area which is not covered by dust particle having more oxygen concentration acts as cathodes let us consider second example in which an iron rod is dipped in a beaker containing water an iron rod inside the water having less oxygen concentration which acts as anode whereas the metal which is exposed to the air not covered in water having more oxygen concentration acts as cathodes as you can see in the both the cases there will be a formation of anode as well as cathode in presence of an um, electrolyte uh, results in electrochemical cell in in these examples a concentration cell develop with respect to oxygen as a result corrosion occurs the part of the metal <coughs> at anode the metal undergoes oxidation whereas at cathode oxygen undergoes reduction this type of corrosion occurs when a metal is exposed to different oxygen concentration some more common examples of differential aeration are a part of the nail inside the wall being exposed to lower oxygen concentration than exposed parts which undergoes corrosion second example window rods inside the frame suffer more corrosion than the exposed region also the last example a partially buried pipe lying in soil or submerged in water undergoes corrosion below the soil cases of differential aeration corrosion under this first we will discuss pitic corrosion pitic corrosion is a localized and accelerated corrosion resulting in the formation of pits or pin holes around which a metal is relatively unattacked so let us consider a dust particle settle on the iron metal the area below the dust particle acts as anode whereas the surface of the metal which is not covered by dust particle acts as cathode large cathodic area puts up high demand of electrons that have to be generated by small anodic area so metal gets oxidized rapidly it almost like digging a pit at the anodic area pitting is considered to be a more dangerous than uniform corrosion damage because it is more difficult to detect and predict and design against as you can see in the figure 2 the corrosion occurs mainly due to pitic corrosion it is so this is a reaction taking place at the corrosion pitic corrosion is also caused by breakdown of the protective film on the metal surface for example peeling off of a small tin coating on iron gives rise to a small anodic area and large cathodic area this results an accelerated pitting corrosion at the exposed parts now we will discuss one more case of differential aeration corrosion that is waterline corrosion waterline corrosion is a case of differential aeration corrosion which is more common in the case of ocean going ships water storage tanks in which most of the metal is always under water as you can see in the figure 1 and figure 2 also corrosion of a metal occurs just below the waterline is referred as waterline corrosion whenever a metal is partially covered by water differential aeration corrosion occurs the part of the metal having less oxygen concentration acts as anode whereas the part above the water level acts as cathode where which is more aerated the corrosion product is formed just below the water line in the form of a brown layer these are the reactions taking place during corrosion the metal undergoes oxidation at the anode whereas due to the supply of more oxygen oxygen undergoes corrosion it is waterline corrosion is common in water lifting pipes under water though ocean going ships suffer a differential aeration corrosion ships 
sunken under water for several years is free from corrosion for the height of ships sunken under water the difference in oxygen concentration between the top and bottom of the slip is negligible small that is why the ship is exposed to almost uniform concentration of the air and does not undergo differential aeration corrosion but it may undergo a different type of corrosion stress corrosion is also known as stress corrosion cracking refers to cracking of a metal caused by the combined effect of a tensile stress and a specific environment corrosive on the metal during the stress corrosion the metal or alloy is virtually unattacked over most of its surface while fine cracks progress through its normal to the direction of tensile stress During the fabrication of a metal object, a metal is subjected to various mechanical operations such as bending, welding, or riveting. The stress can also be external stress acting on the metal during service conditions. The metal atom undergoes stress or always hot, higher energy levels as compared to the free from stress. The stress part of the metal therefore acts as anode, whereas other part acts as cathode. As a result, a corrosion cell is formed with the stress part acting as anode and the stress-free part acting as cathode. Under specific corrosion environment, the stress part undergoes corrosion, initiating the crack. In the presence of continuously acting stress and the corrosion medium, the crack propagates through the metal. One such example is in the case of steel boilers, corrosion occurs due to action of sodium hydroxide. where difference in the concentration of sodium hydroxide leads to concentration cell finally corrosion occurs that is actually called as caustic embrittlement in mild steel boilers summary in today's class we learnt different types of corrosion like differential metallic corrosion differential aeration corrosion and stress corrosion and the difference between galvanic corrosion and electrochemical series examination corner the first question related to electrochemical theory of corrosion we have to explain the wet mechanism with the help of diagram as well as reactions reactions at cathode and reactions at cathode and finally we have to write what is the corrosion product formed during the corrosion the third question related to types of corrosion when two different metal will be there what type of corrosion one acts as anode one acts as cathode depend upon the position the electrochemical series the second question sub question related to differential aeration corrosion you have to identify the anode and identify the cathodes